People ask me, was your first business documentary good for your business, right? And I tell them, it was like getting tickled on anaesthetic. It didn't hurt, all right? Have a look at this big job I got for the Demetrius Pizzeria fuckwits, okay? Kenny, how are you, mate? But people also ask me, you know, so they, they say, John, you know, do you think you'll use the exposure from it to return to stand-up comedy? And it's like, you know, I can't really see the circumstances that would have me return to stand-up comedy, okay? Stand-up comedy teaches you that you're only really worthwhile as a person if you're making people laugh, okay? But what happens as soon as you're not making them laugh? By quitting stand-up comedy and working on my business, I'm teaching myself that I'm actually a worthwhile person. And rather than providing people with a quick fleeting laugh, I'm giving them something much more enduring, okay? Which is any electrical job, any day of the week. Okay, mate, back slowly, back slowly. Okay, back, oh, a little bit more. Back, okay, stop, stop, stop. Forward, attach, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right, beautiful. Yeah, mate. Still living with Nat, but in a different place. Yeah, we had to get a new place. We got kicked out of the last place. Uh, turns out landlords do watch comedy. I don't know why John showed his business documentary to the landlord. I really don't. We got kicked out of the last place. Now we're on thin ice here for blazing on the balcony. That last email was fucking bullshit, man, okay? The fuckwits next door, what they do is they reach around their balcony and take a photo of us on our balcony, right? And they send it off to the strata and the strata comes back with, oh, we got a photo of you guys smoking illegal substance out on the balcony. And I'm like, hold on a fucking second, all right? This is all email, okay? I say, yeah, I admit it. We were smoking out on the balcony, okay? However, it wasn't an illegal substance, okay? How can you prove that? You can't take a photo of a fucking smell, cunt. All right, anyway, it turns out you sort of, you can. But, you know, other than that little bit of trouble, we're living with Serena here now, which is pretty good. Oh, hurry, hurry John, up, Serena. What? How many times do I have to tell you? Porridge goes rock hard if you don't rinse it out straight away. Oh, Serena, oh, I'm really sorry about that. Here, let me, there you go, that's it. Just <laughs> sort it out, all right, look. I don't want to do this, but since you've moved in, it's been four bowls I've had to throw out. You're a thousand behind on rent money. I told you about the Dimitri. I know the Dimitri's money is coming. I know. But seriously, you've contributed nothing else to the house. All right, well, if I've contributed nothing to the house, then who got the clothes drying rack? Big day for Redfern Electrical today. All right, I've got to deliver a huge job for a very important client, Dimitri's Pizzeria. I've nearly finished the job, but you know I don't have enough cash at the moment to buy all the fittings and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'll go in there this morning, right, and I'll finish all the wiring up, okay, and then I'm going to take the ladder and the tools and stuff to the pawn shop, right, where I'll get money for them there, and I can take that money to the wholesaler to get the fittings there, and then I'll take them back to Dimitri's, finish the job, okay, and then Kenny will pay me for all that, and out of that money, I'll be able to pay you for the documentary, and with the rest of the money, I'll have enough to go back and get the ladder and the tools from the pawn shop, okay? Video easy. Got a roach? Oh, roach, well, I got this thing from the therapist, gave me to try, and what it is, it's like a cardboard roach sheet, but it's an image, it's a human brain. Right, so the, the idea is that every time that you smoke marijuana, you have a joint or whatever, and you use a roach, that it represents the part of the brain that you're destroying when you have it, you know? So I got this one, and it's nearly, I've been pilfering around to the sides, but I've still got the main core bit with all the lightning and shit. So I'll be all right. But yeah, we'll have one now. Take a photo of that cunt. Ready? In my do catty, your girl too catty, your mother's a fatty, your homies a rat, I'm within the gap, I shoot like a toddler, brat 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 brat. Grill these holes and I'm doing these holes and I'm selling these clothes and I am a big man and I'm in the big van and I'll never understand and I'll never have a plan and I'll never have a van because I'm smoking when I can. 
Yeah, that's all. I'm Ken. And I'm Drew. And this is Dimitri's Pizzeria. Dimitri's Pizzeria is a traditional wood-fired pizzeria. But we like to think we do things... Pretty traditionally. We use the best ingredients from all around the locally and the internationally. So you'll receive a sophisticated topping experience like no other. Our rooftop bar is opening soon. So come on. Up. What the fuck was that? It's our new business video. We shot it to promote the rooftop. <laughs> yeah, mate, I'll tell you who's going to see that. Fucking no cunt. Well, we were actually huge fans of John's comedy career, and we were sad to hear that it had come to an end. The diet cordial bit he did on Tonightly on ABC. Maybe one of the best food and beverage jokes of all time, in my opinion. Diet cordial. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just put more water in normal cordial? <laughs> And when the first Redfern electrical video came out, it aligned with us needing an electrician for our renovations. So we got John in. And while it hasn't been exactly what we expected, it also has. Strat to tell her. Mate, I don't care what you tell her. That's the best cheese I've ever had. Hi, I'm John Crookshank from Redfern Electrical. And I'm very proud to be working here at Dimitri's Pizzeria, doing the electrical. Dimitri's Pizzeria is one of the best pizzerias in the whole world and they have some amazing pizzas with some of the absolute best toppings you'll ever experience. Stuff you can't even say the name of. It really makes you want to be better at what you do. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the electrical work we've completed here. Heaters are working. A complete electrical upgrade here at the Dimitri's Pizzeria rooftop bar. Okay, I'm talking rewire. New distribution board with the modernist circuit protection. All right, emergency lighting, obviously. Feature lighting, bar power and refrigeration. And how about this for a base? Under shelf, dimmable LED lighting. Okay, look at that. Mr. McAdams, my year 10 science teacher, told everyone that light can't bend around corners. Okay, so who's an absolute fuckwit now? Hey John, what about this one? What about what one, mate? I got this bottle of cordial, see? Oh yeah, keep talking. I was just looking at the ingredients. You know what the first one is? No. Couldn't believe it. It's water. So what? What do you mean they're putting water in it? I'm putting water in it. How strong does this stuff get? Where are they getting it from? Just take me to the source. Honestly? That's fucking dog shit, mate. Don't waste my time with piss weak jokes about cordial like that. I already did the tonightly one. All right? I've got work to do, mate. So why don't you fuck off? Okay? Oi, Ken, any chance of a pizza? Sure, mate. Oi, Kenny, mate, after this pizza, I just got to run off to the pawn, to the wholesaler and get the last of the materials to finish off the job. And then you'll pay me cash today when I'm finished, right? Sure, mate, as long as you're done today. How long are you going to be? Mate, I'll be Glen 120. 120 minutes. Two hours. All right. Wait, what the fuck is this? What do you call this? Call it a margarita, fuckwit. Yeah, I know what it's called, you fucking cordial water scientist cunt. Where's the toppings? Cunt, the toppings are for the customers when the rooftop opens. Not even cut.
What's with beetroot crackers? They're like turn dip into the chip. <laughs> you know? Whatever. This Jolux. It's worth doing. Mate, I know what it is. I fucking invented that. All right? <laughs> relax, All right. relax, relax. Uh, what are you doing today? Oh, I've got to take all my tools and the ladder and everything to the pawn shop. Right, right. Get some money for it to yeah. go to the electrical wholesaler to buy the fittings to finish off this work over at the pizza shop. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, true. Um, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, not too much. I just got this one uh, billboard i got to do. Just like the skate photo. Shoot a photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's going to be like a small billboard. It's not, it's not that big. Fuck. Oh. And what, you're going to wear that? The yeah. Dimitri's Pizza fucking t-shirt. Yeah, I like this shirt. Fuck they, off. They... Why don't you wear the shirt I got you for a good price? I don't know. I got a Dimitri's. They look after me. They give me extra toppings, you know? Extra toppings? Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck that. What? Nah, fuck. Fuck the lot of you. What are you doing? Where are you going? I thought we had something, Jackie. Yeah, we I really we, did. We do. No, what are you doing? fuck you and all your passport mates. What? You know? Fuck you, cut. You look like you're working fucking IT. I actually used to just think that shops like this were where guitars came from in the first place. Nothing in here is from here, but here it fucking is, mate. <laughs> Yazzie, how are you, brother? Yeah, doing good. Oh, check it out. Got these on eBay. Elizabeth Bay? No, on the website. Oh, yeah. Hey, mate, can I do the same deal before with the tools and the ladder and everything? Of course. Can you help me out? Go on. Yeah, beauty. What's with the fucking camera? Don't worry about the cameras, mate. So that's the $800 for the tools, $1,000 to get them back. Fuck, you, you never have money for the material, do you? I don't know how you managed to do the work here. Do a bit of work here, did you? You want me to get a bit of footage for the business document? Oh, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, don't worry about it. Uh, I can't even remember what, what it was. Yeah, it was the, uh, the Flush Series PowerPoints. What's this about a documentary? We're making a follow-up to uh, Redfern Electrical and Job. Oh, I don't talk about the fucking documentary, all right? You sound fucking desperate, okay? No, I've, um, I've never heard of it. No, you wouldn't have fucking heard of it. It's shit, mate. Wait. No one mate, fucking watched it. The Flush series PowerPoints. Do you know this one? So you do it like this, your profit margin's the capital city of Ireland. It's Dublin. And then you get the job, and you take, you take the old PowerPoint out for someone, and you put this one in, and you come back here, and you put the old PowerPoint in here, no cunt knows the difference. There you go, John. One thousand, two thousand. No worries. There you go. Don't spend it all at once. That's all right, mate. You just let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Well, how about you post an Instagram story to advertise the rooftop opening? Fuck no. Right, mate. The only thing you can learn from an Instagram story is that no cunt ever goes to fucking sleep. Okay. But I, I did want to say to you, um, I have really enjoyed working here, not just on a professional level, but I guess. Mm on a personal level, on an emotional level. Um, it's been great spending time with you and Drew, you know, because I don't have many friends in life and I do feel quite alone and isolated. And, you, you know, they say that you are the people that you hang out with. So I guess spending all this time together with you guys has really made me feel like a better, happier person. Um, and I don't expect you to say anything back, you know? I just wanted to let you know. See you later. John. What about the key? 
Oh fuck the key, sorry. Well, well, well. Red Fern Electrical, eh? Any electrical job any day of the week. Don't talk about the documentary, mate. Look, I've got the thousand cash. I'd like to get everything back, please. Yeah, here's the thing, though, Johns. It's 2,000 now. What? Yeah, I guess you could say I've been learning a little bit about the world and uh, the price of the uh, tools of the capital city of Ireland. So it's Dublin. I know what the fucking capital city of Ireland is, mate. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. You fucking dog. What? Right? Hold on one sec. Excuse me, Luke, is there any way I can get your thousand oh, back no, real no. quick now? Okay, mate, you can't just fucking take all my stuff, call it yours, and make me jump through 2,000 hoops to get it back. What? Oh, okay, yeah, oh, that's fair enough, I suppose. Um, yeah, look, Johns, so you've got two options here, mate. Now, either you can go out, get the fucking money, come back with 2K, get your tools back, or I can just keep them. So what's it going to be, the former or the fucking latter? Well, the latter, obviously. What? That'd be the former. What? Right? The latter. Yeah, that, that's the former. The fucking latter, dumb cunt. Then I'm keeping them. Because it's the former. Going through something right now, but I got something out here I think you might want to get in on. So, let's try some of that. Mate, this Dora Watt is incredible. Alright, Dora Watt, more like Dora, what the fuck have I been doing with my life before I had this? What about these tibs? Delicious. You're telling no fibs about those tibs. Man, I feel like a lot of people in Australia are so misguided about Ethiopian culture. 
And, you know, because of a brutal history famine, they make all types of horrible jokes like, oh, have you ever had Ethiopian food? No, neither have they. And it's like... That's fucking disgusting, <clears throat> right? It should be. Have you ever tried Ethiopian food? Yes, I have, actually. It's incredible. They've been perfecting it for centuries. Traditional Ethiopian feast. You get this, the flatbread, called injera, And you use that. Scoop up a variety of stews. And then boom. They're like toppings. Toppings. Yeah, exactly. Toppings. I just got this one uh, billboard. I got to do. And what? You're gonna wear that? The yeah. Dimitri's Pizza fucking T-shirt. Yeah. I Fuck. like this shirt. Why don't you wear the fucking shirt I gave you for a good price? I don't know. I always go in there. And they give me extra toppings. And extra toppings. I just gotta shoot. Uh, shoot this photo for like a billboard. It's photo for like a billboard. 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 Yeah, I was just wondering how much it is for one of those billboards. Yeah. Redford. Yeah. Yeah, right. That much, is it? And what am I getting for that? 20,000 EPD. What's EPD? Eyes per day. Wouldn't you just say people per day? PPD? Oh, I suppose that is a higher number, yeah. John. How do you get up here? Don't worry about that, okay? You know how you guys are trying to do a big promotion for the new rooftop bar? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I can get you a billboard. Billboard? A billboard. The future of advertising. Okay? For a good price, right, I can get your logo subtle on a billboard, not overstated and overbearing like these other companies. You know, I'm talking in a cool way. People are going to see it but not know they see it. You know what I mean? Billboards is where it's at. I've been thinking about getting a billboard for my business, right? What do you reckon? 4000 today, cash. 4,000. Normally 8,000, bro. Okay. Before that, you're getting 40,000 EPD. The fuck's EPD? Eyes per day. That's like 20,000 people per day. PPD. He's a higher number, dumb cunt. Okay. So what do you reckon? We got a deal? Absolutely not. <sighs> All right, look, Ken, I didn't want to have to do this, okay? But you guys really need this. You really need it more than anything you've needed before in your whole entire life, okay? And I can get you this billboard, right? And if I can't, I promise you, what I'll do, I'll come back here and do an exclusive return to stand-up comedy performance at your rooftop bar, okay? Which will gather national media attention from all around the country, okay? And I'll give you the money back, okay? So what do you say? Oh, not the big baby. What's wrong now, mate? My pants? Huh? My socks? Jack, I'm sorry about before, okay? I'm here to apologise. Alright, John? How are you, mate? Good to see <clears> you again, <throat> as always. Look, Jack, I shouldn't have gotten angry like that before, okay? Right. It was wrong of me. I apologise. Um, I'm seeing a therapist about my mental health. Yeah, um, <clears> so you I should. Well, you know, I shouldn't be exploiting your position as a pro skater for the gain of my business, okay? Right. That's not right. And yeah. um, I really value our relationship and I don't want to do anything to jeopardize it, yeah. okay? I, I love you like I do my own son. Right. Okay. I mean, I don't have a son, but yeah, this is how I imagine it, it would yeah, feel. Yeah, you don't okay? need to say so, that, it's a bit just... Sorry, mate, okay? Yeah, you don't need to And yeah, give that. us a look, yeah. look at that. Yeah, that's Dimitri's Pete's, that's good there. Yeah, you, that, yeah. you know what if it looks like, If man. you're comfortable you've seen, you've in that, that, before, that you, you, know? you wear that, you know, or whatever, you know. Well, I will, that's fine. Yeah. That looks great. And uh, good luck with the billboard, guys. I hope it all goes well and, and, and with life and everything. I, I, I really want nothing but the best for you. Okay? Right. Ciao, Fornia. Okay, goodbye. Run along, mate. What did you think of the apology? Uh, not a lot at first. Um... But then I was thinking if you can change beetroot from a dip into a chip, then maybe people can change too.
Well, well, well. John Crookshanks, when's the big comedy show? Do you need a Voltaren, mate? Because you're being inflammatory. What fucking comedy show? The comedy show and the poor grand you owe us. You didn't do what you said you were going to do. Who said I didn't do what I said I was going to do? Oh, I suppose that is a higher number, yeah. All right. But yeah, I'll take that if it's available. Yeah, yes, please. Yeah, I'll send all that over now. Yep. All right. Ciao, Fornia. Ciao. Bye, mate. Bye. Yeah, mate, so look. It's 2000 for a billboard, right? But if I've learned anything today, it's the importance of trying to be in the capital city of Ireland, all right, Dublin. So we'll go in and we'll tell Dimitri that it's four grand, okay? And I reckon I'll be able to get that out of them. I'll say some bullshit about I'll do stand-up comedy there or something. So they'll give me the four grand, okay? So that, I've got two grand, I can go and get a billboard, right? And I've got two grand where I can go and get the ladder and the tools back. Plus, I've still got $1,000 left from before to give Serena the rent. And I'll feed Jack some bullshit apology and the little cunt will probably wear a Redfern electrical shirt for his billboard. So everyone's happy. She's got her rent, I've got my ladder and tools, and Demetri's has a billboard. But how are you going to get a photo for the billboard? I've already got it. And look, I've still got this. The lightning bit left. This some fuckwit has emailed me saying they've registered the business name Redfern Electrical, right? And if I ever want to use it again, it's going to cost me $5,000. Didn't you already register the name of your own business? Yeah. yeah.